Right before the start of the school year, MTPS was short over 100 bus drivers, a large chunk of their 1,300 bus fleet that transports almost two-thirds of MCPS students. In early September, the school board voted to raise the starting pay for bus drivers from just under $17 an hour to just under $20 an hour in an attempt to attract more drivers. Unfortunately, via email, the MCPS Transportation Central Administration confirmed they are still short over 100 bus drivers, leading to late and or overcrowded buses. But this isn't just a problem in MCPS. Bus driver job fairs by school districts around the D.C. area and even the Virginia Employment Commission make this abundantly clear. And across the country, school districts have been scrambling to attract more bus drivers or compensate parents who drive their kids to school with cash giveaways. So why is there a bus driver shortage? Part of this nationwide shortage is due to the fact that about half of pre-pandemic bus drivers were over the age of 65, and therefore more susceptible to the virus, which can be problematic considering their job is to drive a bus full of children, mostly too young to be vaccinated. For many of them, it wasn't worth the risk, leading them to take the chance to retire over the pandemic, some after being laid off during online schooling. There are also several requirements to become a school bus driver. For example, drivers must have a commercial driver's license, or CDL, with a special school bus endorsement. When going through a full-time training program, a CDL takes an average of seven weeks to get, and longer for a part-time training program. CDLs were especially hard to get over the pandemic, since many departments of motor vehicles were closed. Drivers have to balance driving the bus, looking at directions, and managing the students in the bus, all during inconvenient work hours. Bus drivers work a split shift, working early hours, a break at lunch, and late hours. This mix of older drivers not returning, the closed DMVs, and the stress of the job has led to school districts losing bus drivers and having trouble replacing them. In many cases, these shortages have led to late or absent school buses, leaving students on their own to get to school. As DMVs open up and wages are raised, we'll have to see whether or not bus drivers return, considering the crucial role they play in schools functioning.